These are creepy ass masks. They're all ready for Halloween and shit. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Lonely Things. Last episode, Grace was dead. And she had a tree on her face, which we put there, and that sprung up a ladder. So, shall we climb down and see what happens? Okay. We've got an underground shack with a bunch of creepy face creatures. Just standing around and yay alrighty hello Avon calling whoa hi there uh, this isn't the place for you okay ooh I had this dream a long time ago. Okay. I was playing the piano. That one right over there. It was an old song I'd played a hundred times before, so it shouldn't have been any trouble. But I missed every note. Felt as if something inside me was jerking my hands away from the right keys every time. I ended up th playing this awful ugly song, nothing like what I heard in my head. Since I had that dream, I haven't been able to play. I don't even remember what that old song sounded like anymore. Okay. Creepy. Was that a clue? A dreamy clue? Oh, great. I am in prison. Huzzah. A vent! Vent friend, are you there? Oh dear, it looks like you've gone and gotten yourself trapped now. And here I am, stuck between these walls. What a pair we are. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> of course, y you know about my situation. You were kind enough to stop by before. It would be nice to have a talk now, regardless. I was knocked out. Then there was this man. A man with a wood face. It was all brown and wrinkly, and his eyes were a piercing, beautiful shade of blue. What? Another? Never mind. Yes, the manager, Terrence. It must be hard for Lauren to be with a man like him. Lauren? His wife. She's really a very nice woman. Didn't you meet her before? I think that's the receptionist at the beginning of the game. It might not be a perfect situation, but that's love. It's better than shuffling around alone. Uh, I, I suppose. It's good to meet someone who understands that. You need people to rely on. For example, I found this key in my travels. Oh! Is it a key to where I need to get out? I can, I think I can slip it through the gap. Hold on. Ooh, it is. I better go now. The wind is starting to fade a little. Good luck. Okay. I am getting the fuck out of here. Hello. Ooh, what's in here? Anything good? Do I need weapons or some shit? I can't even check to see if that door is locked. What's in here? Hello? What is that? Ooh. So they were wearing masks? These are creepy ass masks. They're all ready for Halloween and shit. This infection or whatever it is, that has been killing the rest of them isn't killing me. Lauren said it won't, but it has definitely done something. I don't even recognize myself anymore. Just a thing in the mirror. I realize that Jane can't actually see Lauren. 
I don't know why that is, but she was standing right next to me and Jane just looked at me like I'd lost my mind when I turned to speak to her. Jane's the one that I can't get my mind off. She's only arrived here by accident. It's about all I can manage just to keep track of the days. I used the keypad on the basement door in case I forget, which I often do. Today is 7318. I gave up on actually trying to keep them from getting up into the ground floor. I don't know how they do it, but they just show up like nothing happened. I locked them up. I've even dismembered a few. Doesn't make any difference. We just keep sinking. I know it isn't really Lauren, and none of it felt right, even from the start. I suppose I'm just not a particularly good man. Well, I mean, you kind of threw me in a cage and were a bit of a dick, but don't be so hard on yourself, man. Shit happens, you know? It's not always pleasant, but that's life, and sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches and press on. What's down here? Whoa. Look. Missing some handles. Hmm. So it's locked. But... That's fine. I don't want to be down there. I want to go back up here. So... An elevator shaft, Mubba? Unlock. So the... The code. Yes, 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 yes. I think... It was... That? And we submit. Open says me! Alright, cool. Not an elevator, but... Just a big security door. Where do we... Where... Oh! Is that where we're at? Hello! Oh! Hello? Who are you? Wait. Is that... Is that Jane? What happened to your face, child? Hey, how can I help you? Um, I was attacked, and you look like a Zambo. You okay? You seem a little out of it. I'd like to leave. Aren't you the one that lost your car or something? We're miles away from anywhere. Fuck it, I'll walk. I need the, I, I need the exercise. Let me hike. <laughs> Maybe you should just focus on relaxing or something, you know? I mean, I know how you feel. When I got dumped here, I couldn't stand it. But I didn't have any money, so I had nowhere to go, and Terrence gave me a job. Now, I'm not in such a rush to get wherever I was thought I was going. There's something wrong with this hotel. You know that, right? It's, it, but besides your face, it's all splotchy and black and red and... Your eyes are still yellow and glowy and shit, but... Oh, there's something wrong with just about every place in the world. At least we fit in here. Oh, gee, fuck! I never thought about it that way. Cool! I'll just chill. <laughs> Listen, can you do me a little favor? I left a tape in my room. I meant to bring it down with me so I could listen while I'm mopping. Could you grab it for me? All right. Thanks. Right on. Um, so I guess that's the next part of the mission. Cool. We're gonna go on and uh, get her a cassette tape and... Uh, uh, what's that gonna do for us? Besides, get in good with Jane. But it would be good to be good with everybody here, even though I guess there's a plague going on. Ugh. Also, hang on. Curiosity compels. Because you remember, there was that... That, uh... Lock box on his shelf with a code? What if it's the same code from down the thingy? Boom. 
Hello! Well, ah, a note. And also, sorry about the cursor being constantly in the middle. It automatically does that. I'm not a fan of that. Because I'm playing with a controller, and it's set up to be able to play with a controller, but it's just like, no, you must use mouse. Fuck you. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use whatever I want. Jane, I have been getting your letters. I just didn't know what to say in reply. You won't listen to anyone, so what's the point? Dad thinks you must be dead. I haven't told him otherwise. He'd just start panicking again. This way, at least, he has an answer. If you really do have a job at a hotel, I suggest you stay there. We both know if you go to the city, you'll just end up getting in trouble again. If you don't need to keep writing, you don't need to keep writing. Everyone's fine. Sarah. Oh, I gave Sarah a deep voice. I thought it was a, I thought it was a guy that had written back to her. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Sarah. Sarah can have a deep voice. Well, I don't know her. She might have one of those deep, like, Eastern European voices. Don't assume shit. Anyway. That's an interesting side quest story thing. All right, on to the real mission, which is to get a cassette tape, which is an antiquated piece of technology used to listen to music for all of you to know and love and... Oh, look at that. Yeah. What do we got? Let's just snoop around a little bit more. Hello. Read it. Hey, me again. I don't know if you're getting these. Not much has changed since I wrote last time. I pretty much clean rooms and sit around listening to music all day. Sometimes stuff happens. You get some real freaks out here. I don't know how much longer this place is going to last. Though... Oh. I don't know how much longer this place is going to last, though. When I was cleaning that drunk lady's room the other day... I found a hole in the wall, rock pushing out from it. I wonder if she even noticed. I showed it to Terence and he went all quiet, told me never to go in the room again. Less work to do is okay by me. I think he's losing it a little, keeps talking about his wife, who I've never met by the way, or wandering around the halls at night muttering to himself. I wonder what he thinks I'm doing. I guess it's been three months now since that piece of shit left me here. Terence gave me a good deal, so I don't have to pay for anything. So another few weeks and I'll have enough to move to the city. Haven't figured out what I'll do when I get there. I'm actually starting to kind of like this place. Don't ask me why. I'll write back again soon. Maybe write back this time? How's Dad? Jay. Well, we already know the answer to that one. Oh, so I'll close you up. Be not suspicious. And, uh, oh, fuck. Joe, you're trespassing. What are you doing in here, you betch? I thought I saw you come in here. Creeping around in people's rooms when they aren't there. That's a little suspicious, pal. Look who's fucking talking. Trying to call me out on shit. You're doing the same damn thing, you hypocrite. You dingly dong, you festering pus faced so and so. I hope my face isn't that bad. Jane asked me to get her something. Also, it's really none of your business. I wanted to I wanna say both of those things. Jane? So you've moved on to Jane now, huh? Yeah, that's right. Me and her are best friends. We're gonna go out in the backyard and kiss under a tree. What? Uh, did you want something? Whatever, I don't care anyway. I've got a new woman in my life now. Um, good for you, because I don't care? I can't say who it is. Might get me into trouble. Yeah, because you're a creepy fucker who doesn't know his boundaries. That's your problem. She's a real special lady, though that's for sure. So, I want to get her a gift, to show her my feelings. You should help, to make up for what you did to me with Grace. 
I didn't do squat. You're the one who's like creepy stalker, 12 year old crush on her. Didn't even do anything right. You, you just sat there and looked at her funny. Gave her the creeps, I bet. Gave me the creeps. What am I? Anyway, um, of course. Really? Maybe I was wrong about you. Yeah, because I'm a nice guy. I actually go out and I. No, I don't. Here's the deal there's a flower salesman staying in room 10. I want to give my new special lady some flowers. The guy tried to rip me off when I asked to buy some. Crazy prices. So I want to go grab some from his room. The staff already have it out for me. The staff already have it in for me. They'll kick me out if I get caught. But you seem to be buddies with Jane now. Meet me in the bar when you have the time. Or when you have them. All right. And you go puff in an evil smoky puff. Okay, everyone moves by poofing. Are they flatulent? I don't know. So I guess the next thing we go do is find room 10 and uh, try and get flowers for Joe. In his creepy stalkerish fashion. That's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys are liking this. If you do, let me know by giving that like button a bop, leave some comments down below, and if you're new to my channel, take a look at some of the other videos that I've done. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.